Hey friends, welcome to the part 28. We are looking at real questions on uh, AWS Certified Dev Associate. If you have not yet subscribed, do so. You can become a Cloud Kernel member for a very small premium. The link is in the description. Let's move to the questions now. So in this question, consider there was a software developer engineer one year back when the market was absolutely fantastic. Now the market is screwed up. So this developer has no value. But imagine one year back. He was getting offer letters from Accenture, from TCS, from Infosys, from so many other companies. Okay. And he was not able to keep up with the request. It's the same problem. The problem is with the API. The API can be, uh, it cannot support concurrent invocations. So, but a lot of people are calling those APIs because constantly the number of clients keep increasing. And what should we do? We are very sure that we need to increase the throttling limits. Okay, but the throttling limits has to be at the server side, at the target group side, at the target group side, or at the per client throttling limits. What it should be. Whenever we are talking about APIs, we are talking about throttling and we are talking about quotas. Whenever you use API, thumb rule time, thumb rule time. Whenever you use API, you should always use API gateway. Okay, that is the thumb rule because API gateway, what is it supposed to do? It manages the API, it can manage it with scale. With scale does not mean the ruler or the skill that is used for measurement with skill means it can uh, increase the number of APIs. It can decrease the number of API requests. It can handle both the places. So D would be my answer because we have to use API gateway. If we have to use API gateway, then by default B and C both become wrong. Now we have to choose between A and D. A is making use of server side throttling. We have to manage the throttling per client, not at the server side because we are we keep on adding the APIs, API requests for different clients and the quota should be at the client level if you do it at the server level that means total at the server level only 100 api requests can be handled but at the client level you can set okay if for each client i can handle say 20 api requests so that will be specific to that client that is something which is very important to understand so this would be my final answer now let us move to the next question you want to direct the request to country specific website if uh, uh, for example, Amazon.in, it has to come to India data centers. Amazon.com, it has to go to US data centers and so on. So similarly, yeah, for US, they want to go to example.com US. For France, French, it has to go here. Now they are making use of a service called CloudFront because that will help you with lowest latency and high transfer speeds. Low latency means it. if you type Amazon.com, it comes in milliseconds. That means the application is very fast. So it is making use of CloudFront, it is making use of load balancers, it is making use of ECS. That means it is a containerized application. And ECS is used for running secure, reliable and scalable containers. And the domain name, the, the, you see this, the moment it goes to US and the moment it goes to France, this happens through using the Route 53 public hosted zone. Route 53 is a DNS service just like godaddy.com you see ads for godaddy it is similar to that it is a cost effective way to route end users to internet applications now we have to use least operational efforts the first one if you see option d they are making use of aws waf this is used for common exploits it is a security question this question is not asking about security this is used uh, waf is used for sql injection cross site scripting and so on so waf is wrong in this context because the question is not asking about security and common exploits. So option uh, A is saying that you operate the routing policy for Route 53 and specify geolocation routing. Then you configure listener rules based on unique aliases to redirect uh, to the correct URL. See, uh, we use geolocation routing when we want to send the processing or the request close to the user. For example, you, you have a data center like Netflix. Netflix has data centers across the globe. Now, when an, a guy from India, he wants to watch Family Man, that Manoj Bajpai uh, series, Family Man. So that video is kept Netflix or maybe Amazon Prime, Family Man comes in Amazon Prime. So that goes to the India data center because most of the Indians will want to watch it. But if you are trying to watch some Swedish crime serials, that request might go to Europe uh, in that data center. So, uh, but uh, an Indian guy accessing it from Europe, will not have low latency and high performance so they take a copy and keep it in the data india data center also so when an indian guy tries to access swedish serials it still comes from the indian data center it will not go to the uh, Sweden data centers okay that is why geolocation routing is used for it will route based on wherever the user is uh, belonging to by the way i am still you know anxious uh, see 
AWS launched a data center in Hyderabad. One full region it will be in Hyderabad. Uh, I would be still you know waiting for the day when Bihar when Bihar gets the data center. All those talented people move outside and work in different states. Uh, the the state is still not feeling proud that uh, they are not able to you know do anything with respect to industry. But uh, the people are also you know, supporting those kind of politicians. That's great, man. Uh, and hence, you guys should stop complaining about that state. Now, if you see option C, it talks about ECS web server configuration. What it is saying is we will use GeoIP database. That means we will maintain a database and it will look up the IP address and redirect. So this is a custom solution. In the Thamru, what did I tell you? Always I tell you, do not create custom solutions. They don't want to know how intelligent you are. They don't want to know how innovative you are. They don't want to uh, help you file a patent. They are not respecting you for that. They are respecting you to understand their own product. That's all. So option B would be our final answer, the CloudFront function to inspect CloudFront viewer country header and return the direct responses. This is how it works. If you already have CloudFront, why would you want to create custom solutions? It's simple. You can configure CloudFront to add specific HTTP headers requests that CloudFront receives from viewers. Okay, and then it is you know, forwarded to the origin or the edge function. So we would lock this answer, move forward. This is the next question. See, in this question, the you know, you have AWS buckets. These are your AWS buckets. The moment you create an AWS bucket, what it does is a Lambda function is invoked each time. It is like the moment Rahul Gandhi gives a speech, uh, the meme uh, community gets invoked. It automatically gets invoked and they try to find, there must be something really silly that he must have told. Let's create a meme out of it, man. Is it good? No, it is not good, man. It is not good to insult anybody, any, any politician, anyone, any human being. Now, what does the Lambda function do? It will attach a S3 lifecycle policy so what it does the policy will try to transition from one state to the other from one storage to the other storage for example if you want to move certain things to archive it will transition it to archive see the lambda function was supposed to attach it but what they are seeing is it is not attaching it there are still s3 buckets which have no lifecycle policy attached now they are saying uh, which aws service should you as a developer use to find possible error in lambda function okay you want to find an error you want to troubleshoot what should you use so uh, this is so stupid, right? They are saying that we will still use S3 only. You already have S3, you are buckets and you want to troubleshoot. To troubleshoot, you will still use S3. This is the stupid option. Cloud formation is an infrastructure as a service. If you want to create an infrastructure like two EC2 instances, two RDS instances, one database, Aurora database, you can write a code and you can compile the code, run the, execute the code, the resources will get created. That is the purpose of cloud formation. It is not used to trace and understand, hey, what happened, why there is an error, etc. Now you have CloudWatch and CloudTrail. People get confused. I remind you, people always get confused between CloudTrail and CloudWatch. See, simple thing. What, what you have to do? You have to find a possible error. That means you have to watch. You have to watch with your eyes for a possible error. And the answer would be CloudWatch. It will monitor the resources. It will monitor the applications on AWS and on-premises as well as other clouds also. So it is going to work with hybrid cloud solutions. What is hybrid? That means you have on-premises plus AWS cloud. What is multi-cloud? When we say other clouds, this is multi-cloud. What is multi-cloud? That means you have Google Cloud, you have Azure Cloud, you also have AWS Cloud. So this would be my answer. Now, some people, some intelligent people would ask, why not CloudTrail? See, CloudTrail is a service. It will help you to enable operational and risk auditing governance. It will keep logging in, but it will not be able to watch. Okay. So CloudTrail is enabled on account when you create it. It is by default enabled. And when activity occurs, the activity is recorded. So it is just recording the activity. It is just like your security guard. What does a security guard do? You, you say that I have a valid code. I have to go to this flat number. He will just say, this is a register. Enter your details and go in. Okay. He is not going to do anything else. He is not going to see, mm, this guy looks like a thief, man. He has a mustache and a beard like a thief. He will not do those kind of things. So in this case, cloud trail is wrong because it will only keep the log. Whatever activities are happening, it will just record. It has no brain. It will just record, okay, this time this guy came, this time this guy went out, simple. This guy, a bald guy came, the bald guy are usually the rich guy. So, rich guy should always get access to the apartment complex. This is how it, this guy has allowed people to get in and get out. He is just recording activity. So, this is the final answer. Now, if you have already subscribed and already become a member, then that is great. If you have not done it, take this opportunity. What are you waiting for? You can clear AWS. Azure Cloud, Google Cloud, and so many certifications using the content on this channel. There are so many different types of certifications we are covering here. Not all, just one certification from AWS. There are so many different certifications. So stay tuned. This brings us to the end of part 28. 
we will keep posting many more such parts these are all real exam questions real exam question means uh, will these exams uh, questions come in the exam i don't know man we don't know but did it come any time in the past yes it came in the past so that is why we are saying cover these concepts we are giving you the range of questions so that if you focus on the concepts you can answer the questions easily in the certifications stay tuned stay focused focus on the concepts